Once you've installed your kitchen units, your next job is going to be fitting your doors and handles. The first thing you need to do is fix your hinges. These units use concealed type hinges that have two main parts, the hinge and the hinge mounting plate. The first job is to fix the hinge mounting plates to the units. The units have pre-drilled holes, so this is fairly straightforward, but make sure that you choose the right fixing position. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions if necessary. The next stage is to fit the hinges to the doors. The round part of the hinge is simply pushed into the recess in the back of the door and is fixed using the screws provided. The hinges only fit one way, so you can't get them the wrong way round. You should fix your handles onto the doors before putting them onto the units. With base unit doors, handles usually sit about 90mm down and 30mm in from either top corner. And on wall unit doors, 90mm up and 30mm in from either bottom corner. Alternatively, you can use a handle drilling guide like this one. When you're drilling holes to fix the handles, you'll need to use a drill bit of the right diameter that is suitable for use on wood. Try and use a sharp new drill bit if possible. A top tip here, if you start the hole with a trusty brad hole, it'll guide the drill and stop it skidding across your shiny new door and ruining it. Drill through from the front of the door to the back. Pack a piece of scrap wood behind the door so you get a nice clean exit hole. Keep your fingers well away while drilling. Also, make sure the drill is at exactly 90 degrees to the door surface or the handles won't fit properly. Screw the handles in firmly from the back using the screws provided. Offer up the door to the unit and simply clip the hinges into the hinge mounting plate. Clip the top hinge in place first, then the bottom one. Tighten the screws that fix the hinges to the hinge mounting plates. We won't worry about adjusting the alignment of the doors yet. We'll do that when all the doors are on. When all the doors are on, the final adjustments to the door gaps are made by turning the hinge adjustment screws like this. If the door heights need to be slightly altered, the screws that fix the hinge mounting plate can be loosened and the hinge mounting plate can be moved up or down before the screw fixings are retightened. Well that's looking great and has really come together. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.